this can get really deep. This can yeah. go really, Absolutely. really, think really deep. Think about all of the people that have attended his party since mm -hmm. 2008. And think about all of the people who were... What's the word that I'm looking for? Um, yeah. Exposed. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Think about all of the people who felt exposed to the dynamic of this is Diddy. Like, there was an a interview with a young lady that I used to date Diddy. Oh, yeah. And she said when she met Diddy, you know, they they had a little vibe or whatever. Pierre, you know the young lady's yeah, name? Yeah, her name is Gina. Gina? Gina, yeah. yeah. Oh, What's her last name? Gina. Young. Asian Hyung. young lady? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> she, <laughs> she was on a... Yeah, why he said that? Said, <laughs> wait, I was like... Young. Like, what the like, fuck? Like, it took a moment for me to process. <laughs> yeah, I just processed it too. Uh -huh. say, say it again, say it nah. What's her last name? Young. Okay. I said it. I hate this. But <laughs> Gina Young. <laughs> Imagine her name was like Gina Kim or something. He's like way off. <laughs> nah, he was just nah. being racist for like no reason. Nah, it's Gina Young. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But right. even, even she said one of the things... Um, um, when she met Diddy, Diddy was like, yo, you made it. And she was like, what do you mean? She was like, yo, you in Diddy's house. You made it. You here. You you with me. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. imagine all of the people who may have been in that space, who felt vulnerable, who felt exposed, and felt like, oh, this is a benchmark to success. This is a pathway to success. Yeah. And a lot of people don't have the the Mace mentality, right? Mace was able to walk away from the peak of his popularity mm. because he was so in tune with who he was and what it is that he felt it was in the moment. To. What he was exposed to yeah. and the things that he was comfortable with doing and not doing. Right. So I'm going to walk away. A lot of people try to call Mace crazy. And, and, and maybe, you know, because he went to go find God and he joined the church, a lot of people, you know, question that in the moment. But if you listen to Mace every single week on It Is What It Is, you can tell Mace is still Mace. He's still that nigga from Harlem. Yeah, He's sure. still the essence of hip hop. He is who he is. He didn't completely change yeah. who he is. He just stepped away from a situation mm -hmm. that clearly didn't serve him or, or, or his beliefs, right? So everybody's not mace where they're going to find themselves in a compromising position and is willing to walk away from it all. If, in fact, most people are of the opposite. Most people are so thirsty and starved for money, fame, and opportunity mm -hmm. that they fall subject to some of the things that they've been exposed to with this whole Diddy situation. They lose their soul. They lose their soul. They lose their purpose. And now you got to retroactively try to be like, damn, I really wish I didn't do that. Now you got to yeah. go to therapy. Now you got to talk to, you know, your people, you find God, whatever the case, you, whatever your journey is, right? Everybody doesn't have that intuition to say, this is not for me. And so this is how we get a lot of these stories, these victims, because a lot of people want to victim shame and say, oh, you didn't know better. You didn't know this. But most of us and, and, and most of the people, and unfortunately, he tried to talk the black love shit. He preyed on his people yeah. because a lot of these victims, yes, I know there was a white model who, who came out against Diddy and I'm sure there's a lot of white people who, who have stories of Diddy, but most of the people that we can associate him terrorizing are black. Because he was like the beacon of like black excellence. That was the label always put on him, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. And guys, this is not just sex. All right, I'm seeing a lot of that online. It's butt fucking. It, it's more than that. That counts it's, as sex. It's, it's illicit rape. Um, it's it, it's coercion. Mm -hmm. It's it's trafficking. I know some of these things sound very normal to people, like even sex trafficking. Like I'm realizing a lot of people didn't realize what that was, right? They just assume like, hey, you know, we're just having sex, and then that person might be a prostitute or not. But there's no big deal. There's no problem. But it's like, yeah, the moment that you're forcing someone to do that, guys, that's an issue. That's a problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it is. as of right now, also at the time of this recording, Diddy is facing. 15 year a minimum of 15 years to life again a plethora of things can happen before his trial uh, etc he's being detained until his trial like we said earlier so um a lot of updates to come man we'll see it's it's really sad when we think about what the people that we revered the people that created so much art so much um you know the the, the capsule of our uh, of, of personally my life like the first music videos that i remember it was Mace and Diddy, yeah. you know, all about the Benjamins. That was they a moment. Dancing in the camera like, like that. I, I remember, like that. Legit, my first memories of hip hop was associated with Bad Boy because in '99, I I, in, in 1999, I'm five years old. That's when I start developing some type of memory, right? And in my first music video I ever saw was Mace in 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 Diddy, Puff Daddy at the time. Yeah, yeah. facts. Right, and so um, to see his legacy fall in this way and then obviously we know about the R. Kelly's like 
these are not light names. These are some people that were really revered, really talented, and really had influence in, in, in on what it is that they did. And so to see this be the ending or what appears to be the ending uh, for people that we revered as legends and, and tastemakers and um, entrepreneurs and role models in some degree when it comes to business, right? Like how many times have we said or, or people have referred to or used Diddy as a verb? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How Absolutely. many people like it was just a thing. That's so an it, it's really fucking an, an adjective. Yes, yeah. excuse me. Yeah. But it, it's really just it's sad. It's sad.